Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast update for the northeastern U.S. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrient Ag Solutions. We've got some cold air pushing in across the Great Lakes into the eastern Corn Belt right now. Warm air advection out in advance of our big storm system has us in the 50s and 60s across portions of New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine down into Massachusetts. Again, much colder air is on the way. So we go ahead and put the satellite picture, the infrared satellite picture into motion. You can see all the cold air coming in on the backside. Snow falling across the Great Lakes, the eastern Corn Belt, pushing into portions of Pennsylvania and New York today. Warm air advection out in front of that, though, has a big area of rain and some embedded thunderstorms ongoing, pushing out across the Atlantic right now. We'll take a look at the satellite picture again. We got some rain falling in there, but cold air on the backside, changing that over to snow across the Great Lakes into the uh, western portions of Pennsylvania and uh, New York as we head through the morning hours today. And that will continue to push across the northeast with snow expanding into northern portions of New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine as we head through the next 24 to 48 hours. On the left there, we got the hazards map from the National Weather Service. You see that winter weather advisory across portions of upstate New York down into western Pennsylvania. Winter storm warnings surrounding that were embedded within that, I should say, across uh, far western New York, northwestern Pennsylvania, getting down into uh, some of the higher elevations of southwestern Pennsylvania as well. Again, you can see the surface picture on the left. That is what we've got here Tuesday morning. Our big wound up storm system with snow coming in on the backside. But another system that's going to sneak into the southern U.S., bringing some snow to Kansas and Oklahoma as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Now, here's your next seven days of precipitation. Again, it's a bit of a mixed bag here. Uh, most locations picking up at least some, but uh, kind of splotchy where we're talking about the higher half an inch to maybe an inch precipitation totals here as kind of uh, we get disorganized precipitation, some areas of snow uh, and some areas of heavier rain and perhaps some thunderstorms embedded within that. So here's your total snow then, though, uh, as this system begins to depart. We're talking about 6 to 10 inches of snow across northwestern Pennsylvania, uh, far in western New York, higher totals possible where we get some of that enhancement from the lakes, and then across the rest of upstate New York into New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine, across northern portions of those states. So we're talking about anywhere from a trace to maybe 2 to 3 inches of snow. And then, of course, uh, where we get the lake effect snow in the Buffalo area, we could be talking about much more in the way of 6 to 10, again, locally higher amounts possible. Now here's the jet stream pattern that's driving all of this. This is the uh, the system that's all wrapped up across the eastern U.S. right now, pulling in all the cold air on the backside. This is the next little piece that's going to try and sneak in on the backside, not really in an optimal position uh, to do much. So it's going to get kind of stuck across the southwest as we head into the weekend and early next week. We're going to get this trough. Uh, across the south ridge over that so we've got a high over low pattern in the west a pattern that really likes to get stuck and blocked meanwhile the polar jet just resumes here from the canadian prairie down to the great lakes so across the northeast this is going to be a pretty wintry feeling next five to seven days very seasonally appropriate uh, cold air here pushes of cooler temperatures uh, and then the opportunities for some wintry precipitation every three to five days now we're not going to get slammed uh, but the opportunities are going to be there so we'll peel away the layers this is the 500 millibar height anomaly pattern again as we head through the first 10 days of december uh, what i'm seeing is a lot of troughing across the northeast we're seeing that cutoff low across the south the high over low pattern there so this is a pattern that ends up pretty dry across the midsection of the country uh, and then one that's going to be sending shots of cold air over the top here uh, into portions of the great lakes in the northeast at times over the next five to ten days Here's your precipitation forecast, just verbatim from the Europe, uh, European operational model. We can watch this first system begin to peel away as we head through the next 24 to 36 hours. So this is what it should look like as we get to the end of the day today into the overnight. Again, that snow beginning to spread across more of the region as colder air sinks in. But this is at the same time uh, that precipitation begins to fade as the upper level support begins to uh, die out. The system uh, finally begins to it's wound up now. It's going to be decaying over the next two days, but still enough cold air, still enough moisture and enough upper level support uh, to continue those snow flurries, at least across northern portions of the area as we head into Wednesday evening. We'll dry out as we head into Thursday, but with the upper level troughing still situated over the area, it's possible we could see some light rain showers, some light snow flurries through the weekend with another shot of cold air making its way in. Uh, and that really is going to be the theme as we get toward late week into early next week. Uh, shots of cold air, opportunities for some snow showers, uh, but it's not until we get to potentially mid next week that there it is. That would be something, wouldn't it, here around December 10th or 11th. We'll watch that potential system here that could swing up the East Coast as we get to the mid and late part of next week, but very low confidence in something like that. Higher confidence in this more stubborn, uh, kind of gloomy, 
uh, very wintry pattern here as we head through the late week into the weekend. Total precipitation from the European model between now and next Tuesday, the next seven days. Heaviest uh, precipitation, again, associated with the system that's over the area right now. And so the heaviest precipitation with that, it's going to continue to be across northern and western portions of the area. Same thing with our total snow forecast over the next seven days. Uh, again, much of this falling with the current system over the area. So highest across western portions of Pennsylvania and New York and then northern portions of New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. Additional snow flurries or light snow accumulation will be possible as we head into the weekend, the end of the week, into early next week. Your temperature pattern then, again, I've talked about shots of cold air making their way into the northeast, especially as we get into uh, the later part of the weekend into early next week. Let's go ahead and look at those high temperatures today. Uh, or these are low temperatures today, I'm sorry. I wanted to point out the freezing temperatures making their way into the southeast, into the mid-Atlantic. Overnight lows still in the low 20s tonight from the Ohio River down into uh, portions of the mid-Atlantic. Here are those overnight lows tomorrow night into Thursday morning. And now we'll talk about high temps. Again, very warm uh, for the rest of the day today across uh, far northeastern portions of the region here. New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine talking about 50s and 60s for those highs today. Very different tomorrow, 30s and 40s. Here are your highs on Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. So not bad at all. We're still talking about a couple of degrees warmer than average as we head into the weekend with those shots of cold air potentially as we get into the weekend and early next week. Still not that bad though as we head into the first week of December.